Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. Am I? <laughs> no, I am. I am. I'm going to be chatting about if I could only buy from five affordable makeup brands. This came through as a request a while ago. Around the same time, it came through as a request to do my, if I could only keep 10 high end eyeshadow palettes. And I had planned to do the palettes and then this affordable video kind of back to back, but my whole schedule kind of got, you know, thrown through a loop since I have just recently moved. But I really wanted to come back to revisit this video. So that is what we were talking about today. If I could only purchase from five affordable brands for the rest of time, which ones would they be? Let's find out. All right, so normally I do like to insert the the comment that has come in, but since it was so long ago, I can no longer find it. It's probably buried somewhere on my phone, but I'm actually pretty confident that it was um, 10 affordable brands. I decided to narrow it down to five because I like to hurt my sometimes when it comes to choosing makeup brands <laughs> so that's why we're only choosing five today but thank you to whoever suggested this video and I would love to see more I feel like it's probably been done I mean it's makeup videos on YouTube I so I just wanted to throw that out there but I think it would be fun if people wanted to do it or if you want to leave yours in the comments I do always find that interesting I did want to say I'm actually testing out an affordable product that I will be talking about in this video and I do have a little demo that will be going on my Instagram reels and also on my TikTok if you are interested but to jump into it okay Mm, what do you think one of the first brands I thought of and I was like if I could only buy from an affordable brand what would it be if you said Colourpop you would be correct so for a couple different reasons obviously they're very affordable but obviously they have a ton to choose from I mean there's a little bit of everything and there's a lot within their line that I really do like it's like if I could only buy eyeshadows I mean, honestly, I feel like out of what I'm talking about, if I could choose the brand for eyeshadows, I think it would be ColourPop. But I also really love their lip liners. I've loved their lip liners for a long time. The shade I have on today is Cool BFF with the Lawless Gloss on top. But even uh, some of their complexion products, the Pretty Fresh foundation is really nice. They have nice cheek product. I really do like their powder blushes. I mean, they have a lot to choose from. It's very affordable. And, you know, I don't love everything from ColourPop, but a lot of it I really do enjoy. So this was definitely one of the first brands I thought of. Another brand that immediately popped into my mind was e.l.f. Cosmetics. Okay, e.l.f. Cosmetics, I feel like especially lately, they have really kicked things up. They have been coming out with some interesting collections and collaborations. I feel like they're coming out with a lot, but not at the pace of ColourPop. Not to where it's like I get overwhelmed when e.l.f. was coming out with a new collection but I don't get, it's, it sounds really bad, but sometimes I feel like there can be a fine balance between releasing too much and then not releasing enough. You know, the times have changed where it's like, we want things like really quickly. Um, you know, I was talking to, I was talking to Michelle Wong the other day and uh, we were just talking about like YouTube and such. And I said, when I first started my Will I Buy It videos, I only talked about four new releases, four. That was it, four. And they were still a 30 minute video, don't get me wrong. But I could, I could do like one will I buy it a month and that would be fine. And now it's, I do them every single week and I'm still like, there's just still so much more. Like I cut things out of the video because I'm like, I could be here for an hour talking about new makeup releases. So it's just kind of wild, but I like how e.l.f., like I like their release schedule right now. I've been impressed with a lot of the products. I'm just holding the CC cream here and their cooling face primer. I mentioned both of these in my recent video on uh, drugstore products that I find better than high end. And yeah, the, like complexion products, especially their eyeshadows, those bite sized palettes, $3, like $3 for those, that's pretty amazing. Uh, and they also do have skincare. I mean, like, I feel like I'd be pretty good. The brand that I thought of pretty quickly is Maybelline. And Maybelline is one that I thought of especially for mascaras. So, you know, there's a lot of affordable brands and there's a lot of brands that I really like one product from, like one product specifically. And so I was trying to choose brands where I would have a lot to choose from if I really only could purchase from these five brands for the rest of time. Maybelline I wanted to give a nod to because they used to be my favorite brand. They really did. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was so Maybelline heavy. I like to joke that you thought, like, you would have thought that I was sponsored by them. 
which I wasn't, but it would have been cool if I was. <laughs> uh, but I have just, I've been wearing their makeup since high school, through college, and I love their mascaras. Again, if I had to choose a brand and really focus on like one thing, like for, Ma for Maybelline, this would be where I would get my mascaras from. Most recently, I really love the Sky High, again mentioned in my drugstore video. I think the Sky High is great, but Maybelline mascaras especially have always held like little special place in my heart. I even used to do like the double sided with like the white primer on the end and then the mascara on the other. That took me through college. That was all that I wore through college. But Maybelline does have some nice uh, products otherwise too. They do have some nice complexion products. Uh, they do have some nice lip products. The Lifter Gloss, I do have it somewhere, I don't know where. But the Lifter Gloss that they came out with recently, that's a good product too. But I feel like anytime Maybelline comes out with a new mascara, I'm like, hmm? Should I try that one? Another brand that's kind of like one of those OGs for me that I wanted to include is CoverGirl. So once again, I've been wearing CoverGirl for a very long time. My mom wore a lot of CoverGirl, which meant I wore a lot of my mom's makeup. And I used to, you know what got me through college? was those just little eyeshadow singles and they came with, you know, the foam applicator, but there was one color that was like a champagne sparkly color. I used to mix that with my navy blue pencil eyeliner from Maybelline. That was my jam. And then my mascara, my Maybelline mascara. Like that was my jam. That was what I went with and I thought that I was beautiful. Thank you so much. I just remember going through like and it was it was I'll probably have inserted a photo by now if I can find one on the internet. But it was, there was a lot of eyeshadow in there and I would use them all the way up and then I would go buy another one. <laughs> like, I love them. But most recently, I really did like a lot from their Healthy Vitalist line. This is their pressed powder, which it has, I don't know why they discontinued this line. Out of everything, why they discontinued this line, I have no idea. I'm super sad about it. This powder was obviously very nice. The foundation was so so good the liquid foundation so excellent i was so sad that they discontinued it um the undercover concealer i have this on today i think it's great their micro defined brow pencil this is a really good product i feel like covergirl while not everything is an absolute hit for me their like skin milk line really like didn't do well for me but a lot of the products are a lot of the complexion products are and i feel like if i needed a brow pencil covergirl would be the one out of all the brands i'm mentioning i feel like it would be the covergirl that i would be going for all right and then i had one more spot left and this one i was like what should i do because if i was doing 10 i could have i very easily came up with 10 brands and then i thought i should really narrow it down to five so you know i'm looking at like wet and wild i'm looking at bh cosmetics essence catrice nyx nyx was i I almost went with NYX, but really they haven't been grabbing my attention as much lately. I do like um, a, a brow pencil from them that came out recently, but I feel like this brand just kind of edged them out just a little bit, just a little bit. And that is Milani. I'm curious if any of you would have guessed that because I don't think I would have guessed that. I really thought I was going to go with NYX or Wet n Wild. But Wet n Wild has been impressing me more recently, but I still, I feel like I'm someone on YouTube who's never really fallen down the Wet n Wild, I was gonna say like rabbit hole. I feel like that's a negative connotation though, but that's not what I'm trying to seem like. But I've just, I've said it before on my channel, like I like Wet n Wild products, but I'm not a diehard from them. I wouldn't say that I'm a Milani diehard, but I feel like they have some sneaky good products in there. Obviously, they're baked blushes. We all talked about those at the beginning of YouTube. But what I have on my face today is this Glow Hydrating Skin Tint. I'm really liking it. I've been trying out a bunch of the affordable skin tints. I just bought four recently from Ulta Beauty. So that's nice. Their lip liner, this one is the Color Statement Lip Liner in 04. I have this in my recent drugstore video. It's a great dupe for the MAC lip liners. But I just, I feel like they have some sneaky good products. They've recently introduced some skincare that I've been trying out and I, they just, they catch my attention. I think that's what I was kind of leaning with, with with this video is that they catch my attention more. When I'm walking through Ulta or walking through a drugstore, I tend to go over and look at the Milani section. Their glosses are really nice. Um, they're like plumping lip gloss. That's a really good one too. Uh, so yeah, I decided my fifth and final spot 
gonna go to Milani. All right, that is it for today's video talking about if I could only buy from five affordable brands for the rest of time. Let me know what you thought of my choices, what would be your choices, or if you do this video, please tag me. That would be so exciting. I'd love to see it. Thank you to who recommended this video. If there's any other video topics that you would like to see from me, please just always leave them in the comments and that helps out so much. Other than that though, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.